types of neural networks, and when to use which type. In the rapidly evolving field of artificial intelligence, neural networks stand out as one of the most powerful tools for solving a wide range of complex problems. From image and speech recognition to natural language processing and beyond, neural networks have demonstrated remarkable capabilities. However, not all neural networks are created equal. There are various types, each suited for different tasks. Understanding these types and when to use them is crucial for any data scientist or artificial intelligence practitioner. Let us start with feedforward neural networks, or FNN. Feedforward neural networks are also known as multilayer perceptrons, or MLPs. FNNs are the simplest type of artificial neural network. In FNNs, the information moves in one direction, from the input layer through the hidden layers to the output layer. There are no cycles or loops in the network. Classification and regression problems are popular use cases of FNNs. FNNs are often used for simple classification tasks where the relationships between input features and the target variable are not too complex. In classification problem, given features, you try to predict a class label, that is, the output of the network is discrete. In regression problems, the goal is to predict a continuous output. Now, when to use FNNs? FNNs are suitable for situations where the data is structured and the relationships between features are relatively straightforward. If you are new to machine learning and want to dive deeper over time, FNNs are a great starting point because they are essential to all other types of neural networks. Convolutional Neural Networks, or CNNs Convolutional neural networks are designed to process data with a grid-like topology, such as images. CNNs use convolutional layers, pooling layers, and fully connected layers to extract and learn spatial hierarchies in the data. Let us discuss some use cases. Image recognition. CNNs are the go-to architecture for image recognition and image classification tasks. Object detection. CNNs are used in object detection tasks where identifying and locating objects within an image is required. Video analysis. CNNs can be extended to analyze video data by processing frames sequentially or in parallel. When to use CNNs? CNNs should be used when dealing with image data or any spatially structured data. Their ability to capture spatial hierarchies makes them highly effective for visual tasks. Recurrent neural networks or RNNs. Recurrent neural networks are designed for sequential data. Unlike feedforward networks, RNNs have connections that form directed cycles allowing them to maintain a memory of previous inputs. This makes them ideal for tasks where context or time sequence is important. Let us discuss some use cases of RNNs. Natural Language Processing, or NLP. RNNs are widely used in NLP tasks such as language modeling, text generation, and machine translation. Speech Recognition. RNNs are effective in processing audio data for speech recognition. Time Series Prediction. RNNs can model temporal dependencies, making them suitable for time series forecasting. When do we use RNNs? We use RNNs when dealing with sequential data, such as text and time series data, where the order of the data points is crucial. Their ability to remember previous inputs makes them ideal for tasks involving time series or text. Long short-term memory networks, or LSTMs, and gated recurrent units, or GRUs. LSTM and GRU are specialized types of RNNs designed to handle the vanishing gradient problem, which standard RNNs often face. LSTMs and GRUs achieve this by using gates to control the flow of information. What are the use cases of LSTMs and GRUs? Long-term dependencies. LSTMs and GRUs are particularly useful for tasks requiring the modeling of long-term dependencies in the data. Language translation. They are effective in translation tasks where understanding the context over long sequences of text is important. Stock market prediction. LSTMs and GRUs can capture long-range temporal dependencies in financial time series data, making them suitable for stock market prediction. When to opt for LSTMs or GRUs? We use LSTMs or GRUs when our sequential data has long-term dependencies that standard RNNs cannot capture effectively. LSTMs or GRUs provide better performance for tasks that require remembering information over extended sequences. Transformer networks. Transformers are a type of neural network architecture that relies on self-attention mechanisms to process input data. They have become the foundation for many state-of-the-art models in NLP. 
Transformers have revolutionized the way sequential data is handled by overcoming some of the limitations of RNNs and LSTMs. What are the use cases of Transformers? Machine Translation Transformers are highly effective in translating text from one language to another. Text Summarization They can generate concise summaries of long documents. Question Answering Transformers enrich models that can answer questions based on text passages. Speech Recognition they are used in processing sequential audio data for tasks like speech-to-text conversion. Time series analysis. Transformers can be applied to time series forecasting by capturing dependencies across different time steps. Bioinformatics. They are used for protein structure prediction and other sequence-based tasks in biology. When to use transformers. Use transformers for NLP tasks where capturing context and dependencies in text is crucial. They excel in tasks that require understanding the nuances and structure of language. Let us now discuss Generative Adversarial Networks, or GAN. Generative Adversarial Networks consist of two neural networks, the generator and the discriminator, that compete against each other. The generator creates fake data, while the discriminator tries to distinguish between real and fake data. The use cases of GANs are fascinating. Image Generation GANs are famous for generating realistic images, such as creating high-resolution photos. Data augmentation. They can generate synthetic data to augment training datasets. Creative applications. GANs are used in artistic applications like generating artwork or music. When to use GANs. Use GANs when you need to generate new, realistic data samples. They are particularly useful for creative tasks and data augmentation in cases where obtaining real data is challenging. Let us discuss autoencoders. Autoencoders are unsupervised neural networks used for learning efficient codings of input data. They consist of an encoder that compresses the data and a decoder that reconstructs the data from the compressed representation. Let us talk about the use cases of autoencoders. Dimensionality reduction. Autoencoders can reduce the dimensionality of data, making it easier to visualize or process. Anomaly detection. By learning to reconstruct normal data, autoencoders can identify anomalies by their reconstruction errors. Data denoising, they can remove noise from data such as images or signals. When to use autoencoders. Autoencoders are useful when you need to compress data, detect anomalies, or denoise data. They are effective for unsupervised learning tasks where labeled data is not available. There are many other types of neural networks. A few are diffusion models, variational autoencoders, and different variations of GANs. Choosing the right type of neural network for your task is essential for achieving optimal performance. Feedforward neural networks are great for simple tasks, while CNNs and RNNs are suited for more complex data structures like images and sequences. Advanced architectures like LSTMs, GRUs, GANs, autoencoders, and transformers offer powerful solutions for specialized problems. Understanding the strengths and limitations of each type of neural network will help you select the best model for your specific use case, ultimately leading to more effective and efficient AI solutions.